So let's get them up here right now. Chainsaw, come on. Come on, Chainsaw. Fuck the stage, Harry. Come right on up. Just like a fucking Mexican, not following the rules, you know what I'm saying? Fuck it all up. We got any other Mexicans besides me in the house? Yeah, all right, all right. I'll start off with the Mexican joke. Uh, since you're Mexican, let's go for you. What did the Mexican say when the two houses fell on him? Get off me, Holmes! <laughs> Shit, get off me, Holmes! <laughs> Son of a bitch, that's a funny shit. <laughs> Woo! Now, I'm a nice guy, you know. I, I was in the Cub Scouts. You know, I used to help old ladies cross the street, get my merit badge for fucking honor and courtesy. I grew up from that shit, you know what I mean? Now I see an old lady crossing the street. I go fucking knock her down and rub my cock in her ear. You like that, bitch? Yeah, you like that? Huh? You like that, bitch? Huh? <laughs> right in the fucking street. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I only did that one time, man, and I got fucking arrested. God, I thought it was, you know, she was like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 bitch, yeah. What do you call a Mexican baptism? A bean dip. <laughs> Shit, a bean dip. Anybody got any chips? Come on. <laughs> what do you call a Mexican lady with one leg? Not even. <laughs> that shit is fucking funny. If you don't like it, then get off me, Holmes. I'm out. Hi, Chris. Hi, Constantine. Boy, do I? I'm not doing it. <laughs> 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 I can't even laugh. I know. <laughs> How did you look at him that long? <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> some old school shit kicking it off, old school, you see the number man, until about uh, 8.30, 513-813-7979, and you know the rule, phone call stop, I stop, hello Blake, what's up mama, how you doing sweetness, <laughs> long time no talking angel eyes, yeah, How's it going uh, with the, the whole uh, family, being a dad? Yeah, seems good. Seems good. We, we, came, we, came to, we came to terms. Came to terms. I told her, look, look it. I'm available from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. I can offer nothing more. And she goes, where do I sign? No problem. She's with it. 3 p.m. to 8? That's a long-ass time. Right, but I need to go to sleep. You know, I need sleep in order to perform at work, which, by the way, I got to tell you, uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, I got to one of our job sites, and, um, you know, it, it's basically, you know, studs, you know, just framing. There's nothing there. No plumbing, no nothing. And I'm like, all right, I kind of feel like I got to take a shit, but, you know, I'll make it to somewhere, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And halfway through my little walkthrough I was doing, I realized I wasn't going to make it. Uh -oh. So I always keep toilet paper in my van. So I went out, grabbed the toilet paper. Now I'm inside foraging, looking around for something. In the and van. I found, a, I found a cardboard box. And, you know, like when you take an emergency shit, it's always worse than just a normal shit. Right. And yeah. I sit inside this box. And it was just fucking horrific. And, uh, you know, I, I wiped, you know, I, I, I looked inside the box. It looks like somebody took a turd and blew its head off of this fucking box. <laughs> so, I, I, uh, I wiped, 
I wiped out. Now I have this box. But the guys that come and pick up the trash and shit, like, I know these guys. Like, I wouldn't want to burden them with that. So I walked a couple blocks down, and I put the box on, like, a dresser that somebody had out for the trash. And uh, I'm like, you know, the trash guys will get it. No big deal. Um, that dresser sat there for a couple days, and I drove by it, and somebody opened up the box. Like, there might be something in there. <laughs> Somebody's trash picking, looking for some uh, some jewelry or something. <laughs> there was there was white. <laughs> did you tell Did you tell your girl? Yeah, I, I think she knew about it, but <laughs> I've, I've I've gone off roading with the shit many a time. But that was a good one. I was going to tell you, maybe you could just mail it to Country Jeff. That would have been hilarious. So, I don't know. You're not allowed to mail shit in the mail. Oh, you're not? No, 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 no. Uh, oh, you Googled no, people, it? There were some lawsuits and stuff. You get in big trouble for that now. Oh, you Googled it. I looked into it. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, the other thing I was going to tell you is I don't, I don't think I ever told you about, like, when I first got out of jail. I did three years in jail for bank robbery, for those that don't know. But um, I, I was, I was, don't worry, people. I was framed. It was a false accusation. Right. Of but course. I, you know, yeah. I, I took it on the chin. Yep. It, either way. You know what I mean? So yep. uh, I first get out, right? And I'm like, I got to, I got to, I, like, I wasn't interested in porn. A lot of guys get out of jail and they're like, go crazy with porn. I'm like, I got to find somebody. So, I'm on Bumble. I'm on these dating apps and shit. And uh, I start talking. Like, I don't really care, like, white girl, black girl, Asian girl. You know, I'm taking all comers at this point. So I start talking to this girl. And it's a black girl. And she's, you know, a little bigger. But I'm thinking, you know, I could deal with that. And she actually happened to be a drug and alcohol therapist. I'm like, okay, I could kind of get with this. (laughs) We go out on a date. I had no car, no nothing. Just got out of jail. She knew the whole song and dance. Um. She probably weighed 300 pounds easily. Yes. And not only did she weigh 300 pounds, she was taller than me. She's like 6'2". You know, so she's huge. Yeah. Um, so I end up banging her. I go to her house. We end up fucking around and stuff. She blew me on the first date. And I went to her house. And, you know, all my friends were making fun of her and shit. But, you know, whatever. She was nice to me. I go to her house, and her fucking toilet seat was broken. <laughs> <laughs> and I just said, that's enough. <laughs> right there. I ended the whole thing in my mind. I go, she's depressing so much fucking weight on this toilet seat that it snapped. Uh, I just can't deal with this. I, I can't deal with this. But she, um, man, she could fucking suck start a Harley. She fucking <laughs> gave the best fucking blowjob I ever had. Bar none. Suck start a uh, Harley. That's correct. Yeah, that's good shit. uh, (laughs) So then I move on and I find this white girl that um, that lives nearby. Fat as a fucking pig, just fat as a fucking pig. But she was nice to me. Right. So, you know, the second date or whatever, you know, I end up fucking her. Right. And um, I I don't know how I caught the angle of it, but I, I fucking turn her over. And her fucking asshole was packed with toilet paper. <laughs> like, not just like a couple remnants, like a whole fucking wipe was up in there. <laughs> Maybe she had a problem. And she had to put well, like. I me- and, and so now I'm in, the, I'm in the position of like, do you mention this? No. Or do you say nothing? Nothing. You look away. I said something. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, you got you got to look away and continue on with the plans. <laughs> well, she and, and she let me take off the yondam too. Ugh! Why would you do that? Well, because I was. She's like, I'm fucking her, and I got like this, like, um, you know, I look like I'm standing in line at the bank or something. I the look on my face. I'm like, okay, this is fine. You know, you're a pig. I'm fucking you. Blah blah blah. But she's like, you're not feeling this. You're not feeling how good this is. And I'm like. No, I would. And she's I, like, "Okay, you can take the condom off." No, see, why would you want like the risk having a child with someone like that? My thing was always, I, I, I always wore rubbers, not because I didn't want to catch something, because you, you know, 
catching catching something's free. Having a kid costs money. You know what I mean? She said she was on the pill. Doesn't nah, you you trust somebody like that? Why would she need to be on the pill? She getting it like, all the she time. She said she had heavy periods. Oh, okay, good. Maybe that's why that toilet paper was there. She was having a period in the wrong area. <laughs> Yo, and then she fucking checked herself and like started digging around back there. And that thing was, it looked like if you cut open like a teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was a map. <laughs> that thing was. And not only that, she asked to use my bathroom previous to that. Yeah. So I'm thinking she was in there taking a shit. That was your toilet paper. That was my toilet paper. Did you take it back? <laughs> she probably left it on the floor. You should have wrote your phone number on it and said, yeah, call me anytime. <laughs> you know, she, um, she was a fucking pig, though. Yeah. It happens. So anyway, it, you know, I don't. I don't um, like those. I don't like those kind of words. Um, there's some ladies that I work with, and off the air, we'll talk about certain things. I gotta get this going on the radio, but it's uh, what I call gettable. I like girls that are gettable, and some well, guy friends make fun of me for that too, because you know they all want models and shit. But you know, whatever. I like gettable. Oh, I'm a lowest hanging fruit guy. You know what I mean? Like, See, boom, that's rude, too. I think gettable is nicer. Um, <clears throat> so I like the stories about how Le you and Lene be driving around, and she go, did you have sex with a girl that fat? Yeah. And you go, no, no. She, won't, she wouldn't say anything mean like that. She would go, she would just point at somebody and go, S someone like that? And I would always go, oh, yeah. That's eat that yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a, dick. a monster. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna break someone's heart that wants to get with this. <laughs> hey, did you see my comment about the dreamy kid Chris picture? Yeah, it was rude and mean and uncalled for. <laughs> but how funny was that? It was that shirt is stretched out. What the no, fuck it's is not. With that shirt? No. It is. No, it's not. Hey, it's not my fault you walked around with feathered hair and a fucking stretched out shirt like a complete asshole. Fuck you too. Unfortunately, we lost Blake. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> uh, you gotta hit me up. You see the uh, phone number there. Five, oh yeah, 513-813-7979. Phone call stop. I stop. Oh, already. That's fine with me. Hello. Chris, this is Jared from Rhode Island. Jared from Rhode Island. Yes, sir. I love your show. I don't know how I wound up with it on my Facebook one day. and I've been listening ever since. Oh, okay. Now, hold on a minute. So, Jared from Rhode Island. Yes, Where in Rhode Island? Coventry, Rhode Island, sir. 02816. Okay, now hold on. So yeah. you never heard the radio show or anything? Not before it appeared on my Facebook like four years ago. Oh damn! Or something. That's awesome. How far so, away? How far away from? Uh, uh, what about Wound Socket? Wound Socket? About fucking uh, thirty minutes. I prank call a radio station out there all the time. I know, John. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I listen every fucking day That's awesome dude I'm not gonna ask you what happened to fucking The fat Asian dude Or anything like that well, Cause I listen every day But uh, Well I mean if you listen you know what happened yeah. That was uh, oh, yeah. uh, over a exactly. year ago Those fucking yeah. assholes that say Oh I listen what happened to so and so Yeah 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 no, yeah, it's you, funny. Don't, you don't listen every day Yeah. <laughs> well dude that's fucking that's, right, yeah. that's the shit well how old are you I'm 32. Okay. You got a girl and all that stuff, or are you just a single dude? Wife. Okay. Just, you know, living the fucking dream. That's crazy. So, like, what showed up on what showed up on Facebook to make you start listening? It was one of these fucking, I don't know if it was this, or like a highlight from your radio show, but it just showed up on my fucking wall one day. I'm like, well, check this out. Oh. 
<laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm into this kind of, um, you know, highbrow. Oh yeah. Highbrow. Right. Stuff. Exactly. So yeah. If you want, if you want to compare to these boring ass radio shows that they have nowadays. <laughs> well, uh, they're in, uh, how say. far do you, do you hear, what stations would you hear there? Do you hear Providence radio stations? Paul and Al. Huh? Do you hear Providence radio stations where you are? Yeah, like uh, the Paul and Al show. Uh, I don't know. Shit, really, huh? Well, I don't. I only know call letter. What? what uh, what's the big rock station there? HJY. Yeah, yeah, that's a great station. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yep. I don't it know. Is. You know, they're good for like yeah. two seconds, and they go into a song you've heard a thousand times. Yeah, yeah. Well, we do, I mean? we do. We do the same shit, but uh, that's, yeah, that's, but that's rock and roll. At least that's, you have the podcast. Those are rock and roll stations, but, uh, yeah, HJY, we, uh, the company I work for owns that. That's a great rock station. Yeah, um, yeah, my, yeah. A friend of mine used to work. I've been on, uh, let's see, what was the name of that station? Kicks 106. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah, I, a friend of mine used to do the yeah. morning show there, and I would go and do his show with him. But that was a long time. I was in the 90s, so. Fuck those guys. Yeah. <laughs> Well, dude, I don't listen. Want to make well, an actually, ass out of myself, but, the the, huh? the wolf the wolf pack they call that uh, that WPRO station all the time, the AM talk station. Yeah, those yeah. fucking clowns. Yeah, yeah. All what a shit. what a big fucking couple of makeup fucking artists those people have, huh? <laughs> the fucking sixty year old man wearing fucking three inches of makeup. What the fuck's the matter with you? You know? Yeah. Well, listen. I everybody's everybody's yeah, a victim. What a, <laughs> right. Well, that's awesome, right. dude. Well, I appreciate it, man, and I'm glad you called and checked no, in. No, I'll dude. be listening, and you know, I don't want to make an ass of myself. I appreciate what you do, and uh, you have a good night, sir. All right, brother. Thanks, man. Yep. That's Take it easy. Yeah, so go. long for now. That's that's fucking awesome. I like hearing those stories. Um. It's just what I think. I'm like, this fucking, this goddamn uh, Facebook is such a pain in the ass. And, uh, but then, like, it reaches out and it'll hit a guy like that that doesn't know of us at all and be like, oh, I'm going to check this out. And then now he's a listener. That's cool. Listen, man, that's, that's tough ass shit to get it out there outside of the listening area. Yeah. Over. Yeah, what's up? Let's see. Two six seven, calling me Cobra. That's got to be Philly. Got to be Philly. So. I call you all the time. I haven't called you in a couple months. Though. I called you back in like September, October. I told you I got more custody of my daughter and all that. Right. Your, your daughter. Now the judge. Yeah, my daughter. <laughs> my daughter. Whatever. Um, the judge messed up, right? Put down the wrong stuff on the paper, and now I don't get more custody. And now I'm still fighting for more custody. Oh, yeah, that sucks. Uh, uh, uh. You know, there's a lot of things in life where you're like, "Well, I got to cut bait on this and just <clears throat> and move on." But when it comes to the kids, it sucks. And the women, know, they know that they just throw up roadblocks after roadblocks, and their attorney loves it because they're like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, we can work that out." Uh, and, and and he'll want to fight more, and then you'll have to keep me aboard, and I'll have to get paid more. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, she, I have one. I work for a very uh, for a company, a union company, where I don't have to pay for a lawyer. Oh shit! Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. So I'll just keep filing paper. I'll just keep filing paperwork, buddy. And she has to pay for a lawyer. Oh, that's that's fucking awesome. Yeah. Well, you know, I tell you what, man. I uh. I, I I worked. I had a you know a union attorney and all that stuff for work stuff, but not for uh, personal shit. That's awesome. Yeah, personal and yeah. Ah, God, good for you, dude. So my daughter, my daughter has to go and testify to a judge and all that, and tell uh. tell her what they want to do, and and uh, we'll see where it goes from there. Well, good luck with that. That sucks that she's got to go through that. That's a shit that you want to shield her from. But hey, whatever. She's old enough. She's 16. Oh, then she can put on tears and all that shit. <laughs> Man, she don't know she'll put on tears. She might get upset, you know, when you, it's upsetting for anybody. Yeah, it is upsetting. That's but really fucked up. Well, you know, here's the thing. I think even down the road, guys need to understand this. Even when you just 
you know, maybe you just get tapped out for cash and shit. You're like, fuck, I'm toast. Down the road, eventually, these women, these girls will grow up and they'll realize that mom is a little fucked up and, and a bitch. And she kept me or kept dad away from me. And she'll okay. end up being closer than, you know. Yeah, well, she's always close to me. She's been close to me, and uh, you know, and I didn't mind paying child support when I. When, but then she took me back for more child support, and I had to pay more. I pay eight hundred right now. I was paying five. Whatever. I, it just I, sucks. It uh, sucks too that you don't know where that money is actually going. You know what I mean? Well, it sucks, but that paycheck's gonna end out in, in, in two years, buddy. Two years. Oh so. God! But still, it's gonna be a long ass ten years or two years. Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm thinking about mine. Ten years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your your wife's probably filing already. Uh, hey, whatever. Sure, you already have the paper, probably paper signed. Paper signed. Just waiting for that one day to happen. What, it's gonna happen. But whatever, man. <laughs> well, thanks for bringing it down. I gotta take some. Oh, anytime, buddy. You know, you know, Philly. We either bring it down or we start shit. You know, one or the other. Mm. Yeah, if the uh, Bengals win the Super Bowl, I'm going to go and do it Philly style and go climb them up a fucking light pole and knock some shit over. <laughs> hell yeah, buddy. Fucking hell yeah. All right. they don't, here in Philly, they grease them all so you can't do it. Oh, they grease them? Yeah, they grease them. Well, here in Cincinnati, nobody is ever downtown, so I don't know if anything will happen. Who knows? Yeah, and you guys don't celebrate wins anyway. No, we don't know how to do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's all right. Watch our videos and see where, see how, see how. Okay, done. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll knock all some right. shit over. All right, all right, dude. All right. All right, see ya. Later. <laughs> so long for now. Mm. Yeah, that shit makes me sad when I hear about that with dudes that are uh, just fighting, fighting and fighting just to fucking see their chidgens. It's such a pain in the dick. You know, and you know that money isn't going to anybody. Oh, hold on a minute. Look at this. Is this, is this Johnny Five? CJ Five. Wow. Johnny Five, the muscle machine. What's up, bitch? Are you there? Okay, Johnny. Guess he doesn't want to talk. Johnny. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, he just hung up on us. God, that sucks. Johnny Five. I was looking forward to hearing from. Him. I haven't heard from him in a long. Yes, it's me. The Beaver Bandit. Hello, you Cincinnati souls. See the burn marks in my tighty whities You have lost all control and you want me, the Prince of Poon. I am the Beaver Bandit and you are going to get stuffed. <laughs> Hello, caller. This is CJ Five. Now this is Johnny Five. What's up, bitch? Hi. What's up? How I you believe that the bet. What? I don't know. You're talking. I believe that the Bengals will win the Super Bowl here this Sunday at at the you know against the LA against the LA. The uh, yeah. Okay. So Johnny Five, the muscle machine, uh, is saying that the Bengals are going to win against the L.A. Let's do the proper intro for you, though. Here, hold on. Johnny Five All intro. Right. Yep. It's Johnny Five intro here. So everybody, everybody knows who it is. He's very vicious. He's very, yeah, he's very vicious and very uh, violent. Johnny Five, the Muscle Machine. It's a, it's a, a hey. yeah. I'm glad you called, man. This is uh this is great. 
Yeah, I believe that the Bengals will win the Super Bowl and get the first Super Bowl champion. Yeah. Now I've been waiting for thirty three years. How old are you, Johnny? Thirty two. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and, I'll, and I'll be and I'll be and I'll be and I'll be turning to thirty three years old till February twenty fourth. Oh, great! Well, now Johnny, right now, I just got oh, I just got word that Joe Burrow, oh, and Joe Mixon are in the airplane right now, going to the LA, and they are listening and watching this on the screen in the plane. Johnny five. The Muscle Machine, what what message do you have to Joe Burrow and uh, Joe Mixon right now? Joe Burrow, Joe Mixon, I hope you guys win this. Don't, no, 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 don't no, no, no jo- Johnny. I want the Muscle Machine to talk to them. I don't want. All right. I don't want John Gagner. I want the Muscle Machine to talk to him. Joe Burrow, don't whatever whatever you guys just. Be careful. Don't fail me. Because I want to see you guys, Bengals, win the Super Bowl. Who day? Who day? Who day again? Who day? Who day? Who day? Who day? Who think we're going to beat them Bengals? No. Good job, five, Dick. Five, one, three. Five, one, three. The muscle was Good job, dick face. See you later, goofball. (laughs) Johnny Five. Yeah. (laughs) God damn, I love that shit. A lot of calls coming in. Until about, oh, fuck, it's going by so fast. What do you want, Jim the Regular? First of all, is that guy a, a cousin of uh, Connie's? Jesus, he's a retard. Hey! Oh, I'm sorry. He's mentally challenged. Okay. Shut the fuck up! $800 a month. Motherfucker, I was paying two grand back in 1993 a month. Well, but you have 30 kids. Yeah, well, not quite, but I had enough. And it wasn't for all of them. It was only for two. Okay. And then you were doing, but you had a good job. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Then, I was making. Yeah. But then, and then, well, and then shit got out of hand. And then how did you, uh, what did, what was the fix that you had? I don't know. I'm trying to remember. What was it that you tried to do to help pay off this kind of stuff? Oh, are you talking about uh, making uh, withdrawals from banks? Yeah, yeah. How many banks was it that you took withdrawals from? It was only three. Okay, three banks. Yeah, and but you know they didn't like the fact that I I didn't have a withdrawal slip. Oh, and uh, I did, and I didn't have an account. Oh, I see. So who did you withdraw that money from then? <laughs> oh, just from the tellers. The tellers were very happy to uh, hand it over to me as long as I got the hell out as fast as possible. What did you, uh, how did you uh, uh, approach that situation? What did you do to make them hand over that cash? Uh, I handed them what they thought was a withdrawal slip, but it was actually a nice little note. (laughs) Uh, You know, it just said the basics, uh, no die pack, Uh, you know, don't call the cops. You know, it's just the usual. It was and, then, okay. and, and then what did they do, Jim? Uh, they gave you a dye pack and they called the cops. Oh, yeah, that did happen. But yeah. at least I didn't, I, I didn't leave in a taxi like some guys do. Yeah. yeah, yeah I, never, I never had it. This is pretty amazing. This is just a dumb internet radio uh, video show. Uh, and two guys have done time for robbing a bank have called in already today. <laughs> <laughs> you should be so blessed. I'll tell you. <laughs> you know, it's just one of those things that every once in a while, oh, today some guy put a uh, an old uh, jail recipe on, on Facebook. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. What? what like, those, did, did you ever drink hooch? Oh, oh yeah. 
Yeah, I only did it once, and uh, it's amazing how uh, powerful it is. Oh, really? All they did is, oh yeah, they just ferment. They would yeah, everybody would save up their oranges and any other fruit, and uh, just let it sit for a while. <laughs> now the problem was uh, every few days you're supposed to burp it, you know, open it up and yeah. let some of the fumes out. But <laughs> then you've got this horrendous stink in the jail cell, and you know. The, the cops tend to come around every once in a while. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it, it, but, so you can but, get a little dicey. But they, they don't care, but they just want to break your balls and so you don't have any enjoyment. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you know, that's that's the standard for them. Now, that's the guys in the county jails. The guys in the state facilities, yeah. they, just want to fuck, they just want to fuck people up. Yeah. I uh, mean, it, I, I've seen a lot. I saw a lot of guys get really smashed and uh in fact the, the one prison i was in we would uh hear the helicopter flying people to the uh, hospital about three times a week now jim did you ever uh like around here i know of an, a, a uh uh i don't know if it's if, she, if she's an attorney or not it's someone who has uh who works with prisoners and mm -hmm. she's married and stuff. Yeah, she's not an attorney. She does something else. <clears throat> but, oh, I think she's like a therapist. That's what she is. And she works with certain guys who will have like some kind of uh, like a mental breakdown and they'll go do something violent or whatever. Anyways, she likes to, she's married and stuff. And she likes to go and have sex with the prisoners when she goes and privately meets with them. Well, you know, that's a woman with a good attitude. Mm. Did you hear and, about? Uh, did you hear about that stuff when you were in uh, jail? Oh hell, we had one. Uh, per, you know, you, you're familiar with the uh, food company Aramark. They uh, yeah. they come in and handle all this all this stuff. Yeah. Well, they were doing the they were doing the uh, the food service in the prison, and one of the girls came in and would uh, bring in drugs for this one guy and bang him in the back uh, cooler room. And uh, oh yeah, it went on. You know, until uh, until to one day she's there and the the state police come in and put cuffs on her. Oh, she was shit. a little. Oh yeah, right there. Was she hot? They, well, no, no, no. But, but the, the, these guys didn't care. What kind of drugs was she bringing in? Oh, heroin. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. One yeah. and one time I. And and the other was uh, the they would bring him into the visitor center, the women would uh, pack him in their uh, private orifice. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah, and then drop him off. Yeah, that was very common. Hey, what about so, have you ever? Um, or well, when you were in jail and your time was coming up, say you had like a month left, was it something? Mm -hmm. Were you were you just like crawling the walls? Like uh, was it like the slowest month ever? Um. Yeah, yeah, it was, but you still had to keep it low key and just keep your wits about you because you didn't want anything to screw it up. Yeah, but yeah, that I believe me that uh, as I said to everybody, when when you're inside, um, you're doing a Groundhog Day every day, yep. getting up the same thing, the same thing, and the rest of the world is going by. Yeah, and they're doing things, and there's nothing you can do to stop it or affect it, or really talk to anybody about it. Did, so that's why I was, go did, ahead. Did you jerk off a lot, and do you have video? Well, the video was tough since there was no cameras allowed. Mm, mm. Uh, yeah, and uh, uh, yeah, you know, everybody took extra long showers. Did you? T do you tell your family those stories? Uh, no. No, I, I, I yeah, there's really no reason to. They can they can guess if did they you, want. Did you? I don't know if I asked you this before, but gay sex? Did you hear it going on or see it? I uh, heard it, uh, and a lot of those guys were uh, they were very covert and secretive about it because if the cops found out, at least these were in the state prisons. Yeah. If the cops found out, that was an excuse to beat the hell out of somebody. How did it In sound? Fact, um, you've been on Pornhub. 
Yeah, but I, I want, know you watch. I, no, I don't watch that. To, I don't watch that. Sorry, you, go ahead. Yeah, let's hear it. Yeah, you want me to give you the actual yeah. uh, audio sound yeah, of yeah. it. Okay. All right. Just just think of a plunger. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, going into a toilet and trying to bring the shit out because that's what they're doing. They're bringing the shit out. <laughs> I'm sorry I asked. <laughs> well, you know, you, <laughs> it gave you more, that was more visual than audio. <laughs> Yikes. But, uh, yeah, that was that was some bad stuff. In fact, I, this, you can look this up uh, in a prison over in uh, Jersey, Bayside. I guess it was 98 or 99. Um, this one cop had it in for these two gay guys, all right? And they were, you know, just gay guys getting on and doing their thing. Well, one day he went and transferred the one lover out to a different prison. The other guy came back, found out, went nuts, killed the guard. Oh, killed shit. Killed the guard. Yeah, that's how he, he went over the hill. Now, check this out. From that point on, they decided to paint what would be yellow lines, red lines. Those were depicting the blood of the officer. Ugh. And if you ever, and if you ever stepped on him, they kicked the shit out of you. Yikes. Now it, it, uh, it, it, it got less, uh, crazy as time went on because, you know, word used to get out because every, you know, as I said, every couple of weeks, somebody's getting their, they were shit wrecked at, over this yeah. and being flown off. So it finally started to calm down a bit. But here's the weird thing. The, every year on the date that he was killed, they invite the family to the prison. Ugh, why would they want to do and that? I, I, that's how crazy this is. And on that day, everybody gets locked in your cell for the whole day. Yeah. Right, because yeah, they would, no, because they don't want yeah. anybody to be, be disrespectful to the family. Well, not only that, they don't want an excuse to go and beat the shit out of somebody. Yeah. And the, the 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 inmates, they didn't mind. We don't we don't want any problems. Somebody's walking around and they're yeah. sad. Fine, yeah. leave us the hell alone. I would yeah, rather so just, I, I would rather just stay in and lay in the bed and watch TV or read a book. Well, half the time, why? You you do sometimes, but you got to get out of that friggin' cell. I mean, remember, it's only six. Let me see. It was they say eight by eight, but nah. It's, and this is with two guys, and then at some points there were three guys in the cell. That's yeah. how overcrowded these places were. Yeah. But you had you had to physically just get out and you know go see the sun and you know. Uh, just breathe in fresh air. Yeah. But there were some days when certain guards would show up. I'd stay in because I know these guys were just looking for trouble and didn't want to give them any excuse. Yeah. So yeah, it was a, it was a fun time. <laughs> it, 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 it sometimes maybe in the winter you'd stay around and do that plunger noise. Well, no, I. Uh, yeah. I well, you know, I did. <laughs> I had two um, cellmates. Uh, the one uh, I got rid of within six hours of him coming to my cell uh, because the way he was talking, I just went down to the cops. Now, by this time, I had a really good rapport with the cops. That was my whole thing. I just want to do my time and get the hell out of here. Yeah. So they knew that. And, you know, we were all cool. I went down there and I just said to him, you got to get rid of this guy. And they look at me and say, why? What's, what's going on? I said, I don't even feel safe to go to sleep and not have something stuck up my ass. Uh -oh. they, and they go like this. They go like this. They pull out the guy's file in front of me and they open it up and they start reading. doesn't say anything in here about him being gay. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, you can now put that in the goddamn file because I'm telling you, this guy is a goddamn ham slammer. Oh. He's going to try to fuck Everything that moves. And uh, within an hour after I talked to them, he got relocated. So, so, so who do I get in his place? I get a guy that killed the son of a, it was Cherry Hill, Cherry Hill fire, fire captain. Oh, jeez. <laughs> 
And he goes, I, I talk to him and he goes, oh, well, you know, it was just that fight over a girl, blah, blah, blah. Then I come to find out he stabbed the kid 17 times. Holy fuck. That's, yeah, that's a little bit more than that, that's some girl fight. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah. There is, there is a really personal uh, involved in that. Well, and the one, and the, the one guy, the one guy would have stabbed you pleasurably one time, <laughs> and this guy would have angrily f- f- stabbed you seventeen times. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't think about that. Yeah. yeah. See, you're not good I at. Th- yeah, you got to think. Hey. You got to think the bigger picture. <laughs> well, the bigger picture is something being stuck up my ass. Right. And that, it was not good. Some of not us pay. Some of us pay people to do that for. I mean, well, whatever. I gotta go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, we'll have another chat down the future. All right. Hey, you all you right. take hey, care. Hey, you. Uh, you know, uh, ta-ta. Later. <laughs> Fuck you too. Oh my goodness. I got to get ready to bounce out of here. I, this has already gone longer than I thought. I guess we'll take a, uh, maybe I'll do a few more, like uh, like a speed round before I uh, bounce out of here. 513-813-7. I am the beaver bandit. I want all of the women of Cincinnati to give me the vagina. Let me stare deep into your soul. The vagina wants me and only me. Don't be shy, my Cincy sisters. I want your Midwest muffin tops. The beaver bandit has spoken. Let's go on over to Devin. How you feeling? You good? Jeff. No. Oh, not talking. No, he bailed out. Country Jeff calling in to check uh, uh to check in before I bounce out of here. God, you know, I, I I'm like once I so I moved this thing to Tuesday nights. I said, I'll cut it off right at eight thirty, get done, get in and out, cram in all the calls and all that stuff, and just get it done. And have it just be, you know, tight and perfect. But we always end up going. Oh, yes. The beaver bandit has returned. And the poontang pie has been plentiful. I am swimming in the vagina. Women of Cincinnati, look in my eyes as you leave a grease mark on your chair. Oh, yes. Kiss your screen, you Cincinnati skunk. The beaver bandit has wood. Good. That's great. You had never gotten ri- away with everything you're doing in 1995. Yes. So right now, this here is a guy by the name of Gay Blind Mike. So yes. so sexy. We were you getting turned on by the guys from jail talking about gay sex? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> what turns you on, Gabe Line Mike? My husband. Really? Now being yeah. bl- now being blind, tell us about the first time you walked your fingers around his naked body and you got to the to the main part. The first time? Yeah. Well, that would have been in front of the sliding glass door in Wichita. What do you mean? What's the sliding glass door? Is that a bar? It, no. Oh. In my apartment. Oh, I see. And I didn't know the curtains were open. So, so everyone so, driving by on Broadway could see. Really? So, well, yeah. Broadway's a main drag. So, you're in, in Wichita, Kansas. You meet this guy. And uh, what's your husband's name? His name is Warren. So you meet Warren, and how many? How many? How long have you known Warren before you you took him against your 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 sliding glass window? Um, it would have been about three months. Oh, so you start you start working him over? 
I started out with a simple massage and then really? progressed further. And, and is Warren older than you or is he the same age or younger? He's what would be my age of um, cradle robbing, I think. Oh, okay. So you're uh, you're you're doing stuff with him, right? Yeah. And then what? You work your way down, or does he work his way down? Go ahead. I started at his chest and massaged downwards, and then slowly started taking parts of his pants off. And really? He wore boxers in and doesn't now. It's so while and, and it fell out. You could say that, yeah. Yeah, and you did what you had to do, huh? Oh, I did a lot more than that. <laughs> now, there's a question in the chat room asking if you uh, if you got cream pied. I don't know what that term means. I've never understood. I think it's more of a well. I guess it could be for guys too. Uh, I don't know if I want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> it could be interesting now a, a guy brian wants to know how you became blind i'll, I'll tell the story real quick but he was sure G gay blind mike was at a party and uh some hateful assholes spiked his drink with some chemicals that are the same chemicals that they use in stp gas treatment and basically Ethanol. yeah it basically rotted out his eyes you were how old when that happened that was just before my 21st birthday. Ugh. Terrible. Yeah. But you're happy, you're married, and uh, do you guys try to have babies with the butt? Well, it's kind of hard to do that. Well, yeah, but, but I mean, you keep trying. We could always adopt. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you don't want kids, though. It's a pain in the ass. I mean, not the same pain in the know. ass as you know you're used to. Are, are, do you are you yeah, bottom? Yeah, yeah. Do you bottom for for Warren, or do you guys do both, or what? Tell us about it. Reverse at all. Oh, so some days Warren will go. Oh man, I really need to bottom for you, and and then you'll be like, Oh, I'll bottom for you. Do you guys ever argue over who's going to bottom? No, hmm. I'm more dominant than he is, but he's quite good when he wants to be. Yeah, love that. Man, Warren's a stud. Oh, he's more than that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, did they ever find the people that did that to you with your with your eyes? Yeah, they're still serving time. Oh, they are. That's awesome. Yes. Good. Good. I bet Gay Blind Mike. Shit, I've been on a. Hmm. Let's see, I got in Wichita in 1998. I, I was still on the rock station, so that was the year that I met you then. So, yeah. I don't know. You do the math on that shit. I'm drinking. But it's been, <laughs> it's been a long time. About 22 years ago. Yeah. So, I probably have, in Wichita, Kansas, somewhere, uh, a 22-year-old person, or like a, a child. Well, I do know that I have all your sound bites from back then. Oh, do you? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I got my job out of Wichita, Kansas because of that, that thing called Napster. People like you were taping my show and putting it on Napster, and I got a job out of that. It was actually pretty cool. Mm, I never did Napster. Yeah, but you know. it's Yeah, it's I found all your stuff recently on the internet. Yeah, yeah that stuff's up there. I don't like that, yep. but whatever. Well, I got to go. I was supposed to get off uh, 20 minutes ago. Well, have fun getting off. Wow. You know how to talk to a guy. <laughs> well, stay in touch. I like when you call uh, Gay Blind Mike. Okay. Talk to you later. All right. See you. Bye. Bye. Here goes uh, Gay Blind Mike, everybody. So long for now. Somebody from many, many, many years ago. Many years ago. From uh, Wichita, Kansas. Which I used to shit on all the time. But uh, now I get a, uh, I get, you know, a nice tear. I think it was all since uh, when uh, our, our buddy, uh, uh, the fuck was his name? Gavin. My buddy Gavin died, who used to uh, call in as uh, 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 Larry from high school. When he died, I went back for the funeral, and I had a, it was a weird feeling going back. And it made me appreciate that town a little bit more. 
Milan Air, is this Kate Chris? Yeah. I wanted to wrap up. Is this Kate Chris? Yeah. I'm on the air. Oh my gosh, man. I love your show. You are awesome, man. I love it. You're, you're the best. And you guys are awesome. When I drive in in my morning commute, man, you guys just make my day every time I listen to you guys. I'll bottom for you. Do you, uh, uh, oh. where's 740? 740 actually originally is in St. Clairsville, Ohio, which is right near the border of Wheeling, West Virginia. Oh, okay. In the, in the major Pittsburgh area. Mm. <laughs> all right. I know I can't say that out loud too much. No, I moved here right. a couple years back, so. Good. Well, I'm so, glad it's, you're here. It's, it's, so, it's so weird to be in the city. Can I can I ask you something, and maybe you can maybe clarify something for me? Yeah. Yep. You know, on the on the interstate, <laughs> and you're driving, and it's like three lanes, right? And you're like either in the middle lane or the other lane, and someone rides right up on your backside, and there's two other lanes wide open. Why don't they just go around? Well, I you know I don't know the answer to that because uh, I don't drive slow enough where people are going to tailgate me. Uh, so it was probably me <laughs> behind you. Uh, I and, and the other thing is, is I don't usually have that problem because I'm driving in at four o'clock in the morning and there's no one out. And when I'm leaving, everybody else is at work. So I really don't have traffic problems. I do flip out though when I'm going somewhere during uh, during the hours of the mortal, and I do run into the. Uh, into the traffic, but that's very, very rare. It's usually during my time off. Well, it's just, it, you know, I, I, I commute uh, in a downtown, and I'm just like, and, you know, I talk to these, you know, all my coworkers, and they're like the same thing, man. I go, there's a whole other lane wide open. I go, just go around me. I mean, I'm going almost people, 80. People are, I mean, you know, this, these people are going 85, 90. They're like, you know, I don't know how these people are going to get speeding tickets. Yeah, you, <laughs> that, you know, I'll tell you. Uh, people are arrogant assholes when they do that shit. They know you're behind them, but they won't move because they know you're freaking out. Trust me. Because I'm usually the guy, you know, if I'm behind somebody, I am flipping out and flashing the lights and all that stuff. I'm a cock when it comes well, to that I, shit. Because I have a place to I, go. I have to get somewhere. And, uh, I totally get that. I'm actually from a smaller town area. You know, like, you know, Burrow, he's from the 740 area. Uh -huh. I'm from, I guess, in that same region, I guess, if you want to call it that. Yeah, that's fine. But, like, if you ever heard of Cambridge or Zanesville, I mean, those are the oh, areas that yeah. I was from. I know of Zanesville, but uh, not the other one. But Do you I, really? Wow. Yeah, I heard of it. I never. I don't know where it is. Uh, but, yeah, I got to go. <laughs> well, I just want to tell you, man, I love your show, man. Thank you for taking my call. I appreciate yeah, it. No, I, I appreciate you calling. Thanks, man. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. That's where I got to call it. This is way too fucking long for me, man. Uh, so I'm going to bounce out of here. I don't know what I'm going to bounce with. Um, so maybe we'll just, uh, just shut it off and call it a day next Tuesday. I'll be back. I got to stay on time and kill it at eight 30 because I just want to make sure it doesn't go too long. But, uh, looking at the dashboard here, y'all hung in there. If, if not, I mean, if anything, it, it's grown, it's grown bigger, but I don't like staying on this long. So, uh, I'm going to bounce out. All right. So later. Fuck you too!